speaking of that ACC division title when you guys were picked last and now you guys are coming out with the title regardless as to whatever happens next week in the tournament what does that say about your team this year well you know I, I told the guys yesterday to separate from the pack um, like we did is remarkable um, it's hard to win this thing period you know it's hard to Quite frankly, sometimes it's hard to make it to the to the ACC tournament um, with the caliber of play. You're talking about every team in this league being ranked, and you separated yourself from the field. It's remarkable, like like what these guys were able to accomplish. And you win this by the come from behind win against Georgia Tech, and the come from behind win at Boston College, and the game here against North Carolina, where you're you're up and then all of a sudden you feel like, you know, they're, they're on the verge of taking this one away from you. There, you, you win this over the long haul of some miraculous games and very consistent play. And, and it tells you how tough this group is and how consistent they've been in a lot of phases of the game. It's really remarkable. And last one for me, I don't know if you've seen the report that the NCAA is considering making it 100% capacity for the baseball and softball tournaments, um, of course, with what local and state health officials would allow as well. What's your thoughts on that, whether you guys are hosting a regional or not, but just the chance to be able to play in front of many more fans than what you've been used to? Yeah, I mean, the chance to play in front of a lot of fans is, I mean, it's neat. And you want people to be here, and it just adds to the atmosphere and energy. Um, I don't know the ins and outs of how they're going to make these decisions for us or other places. And that, that is so far kind of on the back burner for me in terms of trying to prepare the team to, to win games. But anybody that's involved in athletics will tell you, like, the more energy and the atmosphere created by the crowd, it just makes for a, a better event. So when the dust settles, we'll know who can come. I hope we get to host it. Um, if we don't and you go somewhere else, you just, you just want a good atmosphere for the players, teams, and, and the competition to really um, evolve into something that's really neat. And um, I, hope, I hope it works out that way. We'll sucker back to Pete Byrne. Hey, Coach, you got me now? Gotcha. Hey, I wonder if you could just kind of put into words how proud you are of this group for, for locking up that number one seed and not just doing it, but actually doing it with a whole week left to play. Now, Pete, this is, this is an accumulation of how hard they've worked. I'll even go back to last year. Like, you know, the transition to, to us as coaches is – it's just challenging. Like, I mean, you're putting in a whole new way of doing things, and sometimes it takes a little while to see the fruits of that labor. But these guys worked um, in the weight room, practice, skill work, training, nutrition – like they've, they've engaged in all the different areas of the program. And this is a gauntlet of 36 games against basically 12, 13. I guess we played everybody but Miami at the end of this. So you're talking about 13 teams that have all been ranked in the top 25. That's really something you don't see in sports very often. But that's what this conference is about. And our guys – got through the gauntlet better than anybody else to separate from that field tells you how difficult some of those tough games that maybe we pulled victory from the jaws of defeat a little bit. That's the only way you can separate. If you don't win four or five or six games um, that were very difficult and maybe didn't look like you should win, then you're just going to be right there in the middle of the pack with the bulk of the team. And, and I hope our guys understand the magnitude of what they have accomplished. And there's, there's obviously way more left to do, but nobody can ever take away the fact that this team was ACC Atlantic division champions, the overall number one seed, the overall for whatever you want to call it, the ACC regular season champion, they separated from the pack. And that is very, very hard to do, especially in a 36 game schedule. Um, against the caliber of the teams in this league. As you, I mean, as you anticipate going to the ACC tournament, what do you think it's going to be like with, and I'm sure there's been a target on your back all year because you've been a front runner all year, but truly 
walking in there, there will be a target on Notre Dame's back. Oh, no doubt. Um, the ACC tournament's unique. Um, and I was talking to the Chris, who, who runs the baseball portion of our Atlantic Coast Conference, Chris Pierce, does a great job. And I have to choose um, certain things within the context of when we get to play. As the number one seed, like I get first dibs on how we want to set our games. Um, so that's very unique. So some of the things that come up uh, in the ACC tournament are very unique. The pods and then for me, choosing when I want to play and when our days off will be, that's very unique. And I guess that, you know, the top few seeds get to choose that, right? But as the overall seed, I guess I get really anything I want in terms of <laughs> when we want to play the first two games. So, you know, <laughs> I'll, when we get on the plane, I'll start to dive into that a little bit. I, you don't know who you're going to play. I, I don't think other than who's in the 12, I don't know that the seeding has been set, right? No, we'll play the 8 and 12 Yeah, Yeah, but we don't know who those correct. teams are. Like, the only thing we know is that we're number one, and I'll sort out when I think we need to play. Like, like what kind of options do you have in choosing when you play? I may get this wrong, but it sounds like of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I pick the two days that our team will play. And then that kind of determines when the, the other teams, the eight, team, the eight seed and the 12 seed, that then determines when the ACC will play those games. Uh, so it's really unique. Um, so I guess whoever wins the 8-12 game, we then need to beat that team. And essentially as the highest seed, if you go one and one in those games and you advance. So – that's what I know. I, I just have to see how this – I need to get through this weekend and kind of see where the chips fall, and then I'll try to get into the layout of, of that event. It's very unique. It's just a unique tournament. 